Rusalka Lake in the Polish city of Poznan has a dark history. The bed and banks of the lake were reinforced with fragments of gravestones and markers from Jewish cemeteries during its construction, which was completed in 1943. Now, activists hope the government will restore dignity to those that died from forced labor and the gravestones taken to their resting places. They want to achieve this by creating a memorial to Poznan's Jewish citizens killed during World War II. One activist said the laborers, who were mostly Jews, often died of exhaustion during the lake's construction. At the moment, we think that, first of all, after 74 years, an information board should appear about how this lake was built, who planned it, that Jews died from exhaustion during this work, that Jewish gravestones rest in the banks and on the lake bed. We believe that some of those tombstones, the one that can be removed, should be taken away and made into lapidary. That would simply commemorate the story that is painful for all of us. The mayor of Poznan said authorities are set to begin recovery efforts in December. They will start by using sonar to ascertain the number of gravestones in the lake. The next step will be to work out how the gravestones can be recovered without disturbing the lake's ecosystem. We will definitely seek cooperation with the Jewish community, in particular with the head of Poznan's Jewish community, Ms. Alicia Kobus. However, I think that in this place of torment, in the place where those Jewish citizens died, that is near Lake Rusalka, we should create a place that would show these Matzavot in a dignified way, and at the same time teach the history to our children, our grandchildren, to remember what war is, what nationalism is, what a hostile attitude towards others leads to because of race, creed or other elements. The head of Poznan's Jewish community, Alicia Kobus, said that the further recovery of gravestones would help the city to discover other important figures from its past.